have been here at the Watch for the Hook podcast. It's Michael Parker with the lovely Tatiana Parker. What's up, y'all? Miss Parker, what you got going on today? <laughs> I'm outside. We outside. <laughs> so we switching up our recording day. So, man, we trying to do a little something different, trying to kill two birds with one stone. So you all are now entering the guinea pig era once again with us. <laughs> so check this out. We're going to get right to it. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm outside. Ain't that what the single folks say? But you outside with me, girl. You ain't single. Oh no, might be single and ready to mingle. Cause I did what Beyonce just said. I put it right <laughs> on. I'm still outside. No, you ain't, nigga. You sitting beside me. <laughs> shit, you ain't outside. Shit, you sitting beside That's me. That's hilarious. Girl. You I'm outside, outside. bus side. I ain't nigga. never been able to say that. I'm outside. You outside, <laughs> sitting beside me. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, raise my glasses. Alright, so check this out, y'all. Mm-hmm. So what me and Miss Parker have been working on these past I say damn about a half a year is trying to figure out a marketing budget. The right marketing budget, Mike. Not just a yeah, well, marketing budget. Yeah, right? A any B, marketing. C, D, <laughs> any budget. Any marketing budget. Because you know, I don't, I don't know if anybody's realized. After you come up with the money to start a business, yeah. after you pay the bills mm. every month to run your business, after you buy the product, after you do all the other stuff, the after after effect is you need a what? A marketing budget. You got to have a marketing budget because you need people. You need people to see your product. You need to have people come to your website. You need people to purchase your product. Repeatedly. You need to purchase your product repeatedly. Right. You don't need them to come once and then they go. No. You need to be in front of them off, more often than not because right, you right, need right. them to come back what? Again right. and again. And, and increase again. their average order value every single time. What's the average order value? It is the average amount of the orders that they typically make. So, Ms. Parker saying somebody come to your website once and they spend fifteen dollars. Right. The next time they come to your website, you don't want them to spend fifteen. You want them to spend twenty. Yeah. Or twenty five. Yeah. And then the time after that, you want them to spend thirty. Thirty five. Right. Time after that, forty forty five. Right. What she's saying is every time they come back, you want them to spend more. You do, because you don't want them to come the first time and spend fifteen. Because that their very first time the average order value is fifteen. If they come a second time and they only spend fifteen between those two times, that average order value is still 15. We need it to go up. Has it increased in it? Yes. So that's what she's talking about. So one of the main things, I guess, uh, uh, having a marketing budget will help you Ooh. to keep an eye on it, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But really, it helps It helps you reach that customer more times so you can get them to your site to purchase more times. And then hopefully at that point. So, their average order value increases. So what do you say about the people say, I post on my site every day. I post on social media every day. What does that mean, Miss Parker? I post, I post, I post. Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> what the hell is, so, so what good is posting? It's a, I mean, do post, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do posting just so that your pages don't go stagnant. Oh, yeah. Uh, and collect dust and, you know, you hear those crickets chirp. Mm-hmm. But it's the difference between posting and advertising. It's a big difference. And advertising is 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 not what? It's not free. Okay. Say it one more time. It's not free. It's paid campaigns. Yes. Paid ad campaigns cost money, folks. They sure do. And also, don't get it twisted. Just because you pay for a campaign don't mean you're going to get an ROI. Sure don't. What's the ROI, Miss Ms., Ms. Parker? I'm about tired of you sending me to school today. Hey, but, I need you to help school these folks. But it's return on your investment. Return on your investment. Yeah. Your ROI is what he'll keep you in B-I-E's. Business. <laughs> An AI. increased AOV <laughs> equals a, an increased ROI. What's the AOV? Average order value. Did you forget that quick? I just want you to remind for the girl in the back. I'm trying to make sure, girl. No, I'm dead serious. I'm trying to make sure you understand mm-hmm. that, you know, paid advertising costs money. It does cost money. And people, when you start out, they ask, what's your, what's your marketing budget? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-huh. You know why I don't know? Because I ain't never done no marketing. I've never, yeah, I've never done it. <laughs> never done it, so I can't tell you what my marketing budget is. Yeah. You may or may not have a marketing budget. I mean, so, I mean, let's just be honest. Some people don't know what a marketing budget is because they're like, I'm just in business. Yeah. Like, you're, you're trying to stay afloat. Yeah. They're and not I'm, built out that far, and that's fair. Yeah, and I haven't decided or I, I don't understand 
where I'm going to find the money yeah. for my marketing budget. You found the money to start the business. And to still keep it going. Yeah, and then you have to find the money for the marketing budget. Which goes monthly. Ooh, or maybe weekly. That's not to say daily. Yes, a daily marketing budget is something you'll have to realize you have to do. And it's crazy because, you know, Tatiana, we see all these big conglomerates posting on, uh, having their commercials on various channels. Yeah. Whether it be TV, radio, social media, all this other stuff. What people feel to realize is they paid for that. Shoot, yeah, they paid for that, and they paid a lot for that, too. Yeah, like Super Bowl commercials. A 30-second spot in Super Bowl commercial. Last Super Bowl ran for $2.5 million for 30 seconds. Hear me again. It was $2.5 million I can't even do for math 30 seconds. Now, how much that is a second? A lot. Too damn much. <laughs> it's somebody's salary for the year a every lot. second. No, I'll tell you this. It's somebody's household salary it is. every year for a second. Yeah. Yeah. $2.5 million for 30 seconds. This, this is the thing now. If you can do that, Go right the fuck ahead. <laughs> you damn right. And, and slide my logo in there for me. Shit, okay, if okay, anybody okay. wants to put Washburn Hook in a, in a Super Bowl commercial, <laughs> here you have our permission. Just send over the letter so we can sign it right now. That is admin at watchforthehook.com. Come on. You want to run us in y'all Super Bowl commercial? We'll take that. You didn't even let me finish my thought. I'm just trying to make sure. Okay, we'll put that out there. Yeah, yeah, just put that out there. Got you. But, but, with that costing so much and being so expensive. Expensive to me because I can't afford this. 2.5 million expensive to anybody. I don't care <laughs> how much money you got. <laughs> Tyler Perry being there, he mad because his accounting firm fucked up 9 million. Yeah. So if he fired them because they messed up his 9 million, right. 2.5 million is still a lot of money. That is Bitch, a lot. Bitch, you get fired. Yeah. Alright, you want to make sure. 2.5 million is still a lot of money. Don't let them lie to you. Right, it is. And this is the thing. But just imagine in, in a perfect world, gumdrops and lollipops. Mm -hmm. Imagine how many eyes or sets of eyes. Billions. You just always stealing my thunder. Say it again for the girl in the back. You make me so sick. How many, how many sets of eyes is it? A lot. You just say the word. Billions. Say it one more time. Billions. Billions and billions <laughs> and billions of eyes on That's you for the Super Bowl commercial. That's a lot. You know what those eyes then turn into? What do those eyes do when they see something? They start researching it, Googling it real quick. Then you become a trending topic. Exactly. Now your website analytics going off the chain. You see folks adding stuff to car, checking out, abandoning car, but then you catching all the data as it come through because they signing up because at that moment you hot. And that all came from what? 2.5 billion. Million. Million. Paid advertising. Yeah, paid advertising. You got you to gotta do it. Yeah. You know, that that's some of the heartburn that's going to come with being a small business owner is the simple fact that you're going to have to find the money to pay to play. Yeah, you do. It causes heartburn sometimes. Oh, yeah, it's not easy. But you have to do it. You have to get a marketing budget. And that's kind of the whole point of this topic. It's like really like driving in the fact that you need a marketing budget like it has to happen i don't know what you got to move around and figure out but you got to have a marketing budget like if you're a product or a service that does not have a team when i say team i mean a money team money bags behind <laughs> you pushing paying for you yeah and you got to bring this you got to get out the mud your mug gonna have to give you some advertising dollars yeah you have to figure it out guys i hate to say it but you are because let me be honest organic is wonderful cool. you love organic we love organic organic is how we started out it's you know how everything essentially st stays afloat mm -hmm. however comma organic will only take you so far you have to have those new sets of eyes you have to have that new engagement that new fresh perspective that helps with the evolution the growth and the scaling you can have the same 200 people see you all the time yep but then if you do a paid advertising clip and your audience that saw that clip is now 20,000 right you just got in front of 20,000 potentially new people right that doesn't mean that 20,000 people are coming to whatever you're doing no that doesn't mean that at all because Rome wasn't built in a day 
So I always remember that. Right. Just because you built it, that don't mean they gonna come. That. That means that may be a destination they still don't come fuck with. <laughs> Just keep it. But up. but then yeah exactly you may have found more people that don't want to fool with you. Yeah. Well then you know. However you found those people, you need to go the opposite direction. And find the people that will fool the, with you. And find the people that will fool with you. It's it's a crapshoot. It's really a, a hypothesis a, a hypothesis on steroids. Yeah. People ask for the cheat code. Keep How do you make it? Keep doing it. Don't go out of business. <laughs> Keep doing it. I mean, that's the only way you're going to be in business. Don't you know, go out of business. You know, it's crazy. I was talking to my uh, accountability partner. Yes, I have one of those. And she is wonderful. We're going to get her on the show soon, okay? Who is your accountability partner? I'll, she'll be revealed later. I don't want to steal her thunder. Oh, well, dang. So, I my account <laughs> I feel that tough. <laughs> I was talking to my accountability partner, and we were talking... Exactly about that, the cheat code. I said, so what is the cheat code? She said, I've been asking around, and I just keep getting told, keep doing it, keep doing it. So, yeah, that's the cheat code. Keep doing don't it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't stop. Please don't run out of money. Oh, God, yes. That's the main thing. Most businesses go out of business because they run out of money. In how many years? In the first five. Is it for, okay. Within I'm the about first to make five. something up. Too. Yeah, within the first five, most don't buy yeah. Them they don't. Could you, yeah, because you'll dry up. Yeah. You will dry up if you haven't figured out what works for you. If you haven't cracked that cycle, like, you will run out. You will dry up, seriously. And what we're trying to, you know, give people game is, is that we're just trying <laughs> to get an understanding of this. Advertising is going to have to be there. So, you know, we, we want people to understand is that, oh, man, I just... I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm still stuck. My business is stuck. When, when the same folks keep coming, or even the even the people that came aren't coming anymore. Yeah. You gotta mm -hmm. get in front of new eyes. You gotta get in front of new eyes. And you can post every day on social media to your to, to your brain falls out your head. Or you blue in the face. Or you blue in the face. You're gonna have to get in front of new people. And the only way we've been trying to find a way to cheat code and everything else. Only way to get in front of new people is that you gotta pay to get your message. Broadcast it to a broader audience. Matter of fact, why don't you back that up with um, a campaign we ran on one of the platforms for just brand awareness? Yes. I'm going to see if he's going to call these numbers out right, y'all. Because if he don't, I'm going to kill him. So we ran a campaign on one of the um, social media websites. I'm going to call them out. And we averaged 200, 230 organically on the post. We ran a three-day campaign. Was it three? It was three uh, days. Yeah, I think it was three. Three-day paid campaign. It ran about, what, 25, 30 bucks a day? Uh, I want to say something like that. 25, I, 25 something 30 like bucks that. a day. Yeah. It got over 24,000. No, that one's almost 30. Oh, it was almost 30,000 yeah. impressions. So what do you say? What's impressions? Impressions is... It was on somebody's feed, whether it was on a laptop or a, a phone. Yeah. It was on. It was in front of somebody's eyes, and then they have the they have the option to keep going down past it, or they can click it. Yeah. And go into it, and out of those twenty, almost thirty thousand impressions, we got what ninety seven hundred clicks. Yeah. And you're gonna say, "Damn, that's horrible," but that's the game. Yeah. Do you know how long it would take you to get a hundred clicks just doing organic posts in front of the same two hundred people that's been seeing your yeah. same post? This is the thing: you can post and then post the same crap over yeah. and over. You will have a lesser audience. You sure will. You will. Engagement will die quickly. Engagement will go. So you have to be creative. And that's one thing. Talk about in our last podcast. Put your creative mind on display. Yeah. If you're putting a square. In your post, and you put a square in your next post, and you put a square in your next post, and you put a square in your next post. Do you not know people are gonna get sick of looking at your damn square? They squares? are, y'all. They really are gonna get sick of it. Yeah. It just gets old. You have to stay fresh and exciting. Like you seriously have to stay fresh and exciting. And exciting doesn't mean drama or or anything crazy. It just means fresh. Yeah. No. Well, 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 we've learned for social media, 
you got less than three seconds yeah. to grab somebody. Get to the tissue, point. Get to the point. Which is now the quickest first impressions ever. Like I said, you'll never get a second chance to make a first impression. You now have under three seconds to grab somebody and gravitate them. Yeah. If you don't grab them and hang on to them for at least three seconds, they are gone. And they may be gone forever. Right. <clears throat> and so that's the game we're trying to impeach upon everybody is that you're going to have to be smart, one, using your dollars to make something creatively fascinating to attract customers. Yeah. But this is also one little tidbit I wanna I wanna throw out there. Just because you do a paid campaign, the first time you do it, the first five times you do it, the first ten times you do it, twenty times, don't expect a one for one. No. Hell no. Or hold on, a one for one for one, meaning one, uh, this person saw it, that's one. This person clicked on it, that's one. This person went to my site and actually bought something. Don't expect that conversion to happen. They have to see your products, your sites. They have to see it at least seven times before they will really take action. There's a legitimacy component to it. Yes. And the legitimacy also falls upon you. You got to put out something good that they want. Yeah. And some people might say, man... Y'all probably ain't put that nothing that somebody won't. Some people like it, some people don't. Yeah. But that's the that's what you do as a business owner. You're out there in the public. You're you're trying to see do I have something that they want. Yeah. And when you find out what works, then you kind of try to stick to that. Yes, you do. You know, you're testing a hypothesis the whole time. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, sir, if you look at certain fast food chains. They ain't changed none of that shit they serving. Nope. They just repackaged the package. Because it works. But the contents is still the same. The Big Mac been around how long? And, and the sauce still the sauce. <laughs> the the secret the sauce. Too old beef patty special yeah, sauce. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying that to get it all beef in. I, 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 I can't remember the name. That all beef stick is suspect now. <laughs> you don't even eat McDonald's. I don't eat. Yeah, that all beef is real suspect. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. crazy though. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot to If you go in with your expectations too high, you get your feelings hurt. Exactly, exactly. You really get your feelings hurt. Yeah, so well, the main thing is, you just have to make sure you understand and be good with what you want to do. Because after that, what else can you do? Because when you're looking at what you're putting out, your eye lens is going to look at it totally different because it it's is. yours. You're going to be way more critical. Yes. And what you also have to do when you're looking to go into doing advertising and things of that nature, you're not advertising to you. Nope. Let me tell you again, you're not advertising to you. <laughs> it you took are, us a while to figure that out. You are trying to advertise to the audience that you're trying to get to. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you are going to start advertising, you don't have an audience. You have to go find your audience, which is dealing with brand awareness which may be just a reach campaign which means you put some out there and you're trying to gather information to see who even looked at it yeah and then I when do you that start a lot. to see who looks at it then you start to dwindle down to oh i think this is my audience yeah. these may be my audience members they may like my jokes yeah they may like you my swag no oh i yeah, thought I you got, said you i, you I, I got no jokes joke. and swag girl you jokes it's questionable. It's questionable. Okay, I, I, I got you. It's questionable. You try to be But the, 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 the analytics behind the campaign, the numbers, the description, the details, that lets you know the direction you need to go. Like, I have a better understanding of when we, we do post in, when we do campaigns, um, where our people typically come from, what their behaviors are, what their interests are. That's what helps you be able to kind of cherry pick i need to kind of um focus it towards this area this behavior this category yeah exactly because you're going to also learn but what we learned is that you're looking at age demographics i'm in my mid 40s my age demographic got a lot more on this plate than the age demographic of 18 to 24. that's true so what can the 18 to 24 year olds do more than the early 40 people scroll and surf and spend money yeah frivolously, yeah frivolously. so they may be able to say i can buy two or three four thirty forty thirty dollar t-shirts or i can buy a sixty dollar hoodie easier yeah. than a husband and wife that's got three kids one in college 
and two in high school. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a little easy. So you're trying to find those customers. You're trying to see, ooh, who likes what I what, what we're putting out there. But then also let me let me say this. I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a hot second because I know we're getting ready to get up out of here. Even as you're trying to look and define that customer, that component, that segment, you want to make sure you're still staying very true to your brand and that you're not chasing trends. Or fads. Fads, colors, or age ranges. Because if, as those people evolve and go from 18 to 26, that's now a new demographic. Yeah, because they've aged out at 18 and They've aged out. Are you going to start over for the new 18-year-olds? Or are you going to try to keep them and convert them over to now the 26-year-olds? Like, what what you going to do? Because what, what you'll end up doing is having multiple lines. So you need to keep something that's authentic to the DNA of your brand. Something that you know can be fluid and that can flex and flow kind of both ways. Does that make sense, Mike? Yeah, you just, what you have to do as a mom and pop, especially in the apparel brand, you got to find those two, three, four designs that can run across the ranges. Yeah. And we, we, we I know for, for one, we have one. Oh, uh, boy. We know we have one. That, yeah. That from the kids to the to the retirees, they love, actually they love the body blow. The body blow has been our best one so far. So we know the body blow and we're gonna bring that back. Don't don't, don't think it's leaving it. We're gonna bring the body blow back. But then also we figured out that color scheme works. It does. So now we gotta get that red, black, and white going again. And we're working on that. Yeah. We got some other things in the making. Yeah, and we got some coming for y'all. So we just want y'all to hang around and keep hooking up with us. Yeah. We, ain't through, we ain't through yet. You know, like most businesses, we didn't hit some snags and some little... Because we're calls. learning. We're learning. And we had to hit the stop button on some shit. We did. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Sound like you supposed to have the key. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Don't pass go. Okay. We were almost there. Yeah, yeah. Got to the 80% mark, you had to go. Stop. Yeah. And that's because we don't want to put out a bad product. No. Nope. Also, you know what you can learn in advertising? You'll learn, you might hit this might hit the stop button on something. A couple of times. Yeah, because you'll put something out there and you'll be like, they don't like that shit. Nope. Stop. And they'll let you know too. Yeah. They'll let you know without saying it, which is the quickest way to let you know. Because I'm going to tell you, crickets is loud. Ooh, child, crickets so loud. Crickets is real loud. In the real life, they loud. But in the, in the, in the marketing world, you put something out there and you're looking for an engagement and you get next to nothing engagement that you paid for you will learn yeah. I mean, that might not have been the hit that wasn't smart yeah, yeah. That's, that's not gonna work my customers don't like that yeah so that yeah. might not be the lick yeah might not be it so you know so we gotta learn and understand the hardest thing we want y'all to understand for marketing it is going to be painful it is it's going to test your theory it's going to test your 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 your, your forty two. It's gonna test your pocketbook. Oh my goodness! Ooh. It's gonna it's gonna you make might be you... eating real cheap for a while. <laughs> Just saying. It's gonna make you question. You gonna question your ethics. <laughs> Shamar, why, Jesus, why? You why might I do be this? like, what the hell did I get myself into? Yeah, it's gonna make you be like, oh god. Like, why did I do this? Yeah. Like, what was I thinking? Like, why, God, why? people that's been doing this for like almost two decades and they still ask themselves why God? because we have mentors yeah, like yeah. we ain't crazy yeah just to be honest we, that's, wish that's, we should got them sooner yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We, one of the things they've told us they've always said we giving to y'all so y'all can give back to others so this platform we're we're, we're actually trying to give back to y'all way quicker than oh it was given to us yes 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 so as quick as we're learning we're trying to regurgitate and we're give it right back to y'all right back out yeah we trying to say this Whatever. Moral like of the story. <laughs> as quick as we receive it, we put it back out there for you all. Exactly. You know, you just trying to be one. That's it. Yeah. So, Miss Parker. What? On the advertising. What are we doing? <sighs> paying to play. Pay to play. We are paying to play. You got to pay to play. Okay. Biggest thing is don't expect a one for one for one like Miss Parker nope. said. Yo, 2,400, one, and zero may happen. 2,400, one. That's right. That's right. That's right. But you know what you can learn from that one? 
out of that 2,400, even though it didn't lead you to a conversion that was still zero, you can learn, is that an audience you want to target again? Because you, at the very least, had that one person's attention. Yes. That's a lesson. That that's not a loss. A new, uh, that's a new person. That's a new potential. Yeah, that's a new customer. That's a new potential, yeah. So, you know, just got to learn. Everything has energy. It's positive and kinetic or it's neutral. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to put in money to get energy out of advertising. You are never going to have positive energy in advertising with no money. Because advertising is the equivalent of going uphill, yes. right? Yes. Come on through, you, science. You need something to, to push That's you right. uphill. That's right. You're trying to go uphill. Your money is your push. That's the catalyst. Okay? Push. I think we went too far into science. Well, just push. Because <laughs> I'm at the bottom of the hill. I need to push <laughs> up the hill. And then you're going to get to a plateau. And when you get to the plateau, what do you do? You look around. You sure That's do. when you survey and you learn. You sure do. Because now you're at a different level. And you got to look down and learn, where did I just come from? Where did you pass? And where did I pass? And what did I do to get here? And and now you see where you're trying to go. What I, I got to do next? Up, yeah. I need another what? Push. Need another push. <laughs> Which means I need some more money. I got to put some more money oh, behind gosh. this. I got to put some more dollars behind yeah, this. Yeah. But did I gain any dollars? Right. I don't know. You may not have. I spent, gained some dollars. I spent $100, Michael Parker, and I got zero in return. Yeah. That means next time I spend 150 But that also means go back and look at what you spent that 100 on and learn from it. And learn it. and see learn what direction you need to push the 150 yeah, next time. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, Michael, we was out here just talking. All right. Well, hey, y'all, check this out. We hope y'all learned something about this, you know, on the advertising. And one day, we hope to see Washington Hook in the Super Bowl commercial. And one day, we hope to see y'all in the Super Bowl commercial. That's right. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace out.